what is going on welcome back to my channel and for those of you who are new here uh please consider subscribing if you haven't already but i've got a new segment i'm pretty excited about it and i figured with it being the month of october why not get into this a little bit so first i'm going to show this new intro and then i'm going to go into what this segment's all about All right, so as the segment said, I'm about to recommend five. So I figured this is kind of a pretty vague concept, but the idea is that I'm going to start recommending some things that I really enjoy with it being uh, spooky season right now. I figure what a better time than now to recommend some of my top five horror comics. And one of the things I'm going to do is I know that as I've had some new people on my channel, as I've opened cards and done some other stuff, some people have just said that, you know, they really like hearing me talk about comics and show some comic stuff off. So I figured why not recommend some of these but I'll also kind of go with for these what type of horror movies uh, these would be similar to or how they fit in so I figured maybe that would help you know really cement the idea if you think this would be a good book for you all right so we have the first book that first book is going to be black hole this is by Charles Burns and uh, my copy is from pantheon but i know that there is a fantagraphics version of this there are a ton of different versions of this book and this book is fairly old it is definitely of all the books that i have this is the one that's been around the longest i know when i first got back in two comic books i was spending a lot of time looking up books and trying to find where i could read them and i'd try and check them out from the library so big recommendation and if you're looking for a place to get this book there's a good chance that it is in your local library so make sure to utilize that function uh this is a book that i think is really good it kind of takes a lot of like body horror elements but it also just kind of is you know like grotesque and weird in a way the main idea is that there's this sexually transmitted disease going around this high school and what it does is it starts at literally deforming your body you know some people will get like something like welts or their skin will peel off other people will just have other weird stuff so it kind of deals with these teenagers as they're going through a very like prepubescent time of their day and yeah it really just kind of adds to that body horror so once again if you like body horror stuff i think this is a high recommend it kind of if you saw the movie it uh it follows i think is the name of it it was also about a sexually transmitted disease that you had to pass on this one you don't luckily or unluckily you can't just pass it on to somebody and be done with it but it kind of has a similar feel to that where i would guess maybe that movie had some basis off of this but uh black hole is something that i truly recommend it is in black and white and I can show which um, you know some of which I'm glad I didn't just open the thing so this is definitely so here's some of like what the art looks like this book is definitely not one for everyone um, it is you know it's definitely mature so this is not something that children should read is there are lots of like nudity in this there's drug use and other things but it's all black and white i think it's a great book and i highly recommend checking this out if you're into body horror and also like if you like the movie it, it follows i think that definitely took a lot of great um concepts from this book next up we have gideon falls uh this is from writer jeff lemire and uh artist arian or andrea sorrentino uh this is a great book um I have the full hardcover edition, so if you're looking for a full one, you can get this. It is Image Comics, so I'm 95% sure that you should be able to find this on Hoopla also. Um, but this is a pretty big book, too, depending on how large your library is. There's a good chance that you can find that there. Um, it follows this uh, black barn, and it kind of goes through some dimensions and you know that kind of follow from modern day to the future and everything else. But this is kind of more of a psychological thriller style of horror book. Um, there is, you know, the black barn is an element that takes place in this but it isn't always throughout the book so there are some you know very creepy imagery where people are kind of going insane um, i think you can see on the back of here there's this kind of like crazy smile um, i think that the art style in this book is fantastic there are certain issues that take a long time to read in the series but there are other issues that you know kind of i remember there were like one or two issues that took me like four minutes to read just because it was based on artwork and you're kind of going in or beyond some stuff there are some panel work here that might not be as beginner friendly so this might not be the best book to start on if you have a hard time kind of following some of the comic panels but i still think that this is a great book that you should read um it definitely has some haunted house 
elements to it and some like psychological thriller stuff. And it is a great book that I really loved. And it was one of my favorite books. I think of 2020 when it finished off. Um, I remember rereading every issue of this to read right before reading the final issue. And that is something that I don't do very often just because time is hard. And there are so many comics that I tried to read. Next up we have it eats what feeds it. This is from Scout Comics. This one is on Hoopla too. I know that I checked it out and reread it on Hoopla once when I, you know, even though I do have the trade, it is a little bit easier sometimes to read digital comics for me. So I ended up checking it out there. This is a pretty short book. It is only three issues. So it's not a huge investment. Um, I know that some people did not love the art in it. And let me see if I can find a page. Um, it's The art is definitely a little bit more muddier than um, some stuff that you might be used to, but the cover does a good job of showing off what that is. I really love this book because it's definitely like a monster book and in the horror realm too there's a lot of love stories so this is very dark and it kind of leads towards a monster so if monster style horror movies are your type of thing I think this is a good one you know it definitely has that psychological thriller too where you're kind of wondering what's really happening in this in the first few issues and then once you get to it you kind of realize that in and of itself it is a monster book. Next up we have Mountainhead this book is from IDW Comics, and it is from writer John Lee, artist Ryan Lee, uh, I think colorist Doug Garbach, and letterer Sean Lee, and uh, this book is very good, and I want to just, you know, make a caveat to this too. Any book that has John Lee's name on it, I would say is worth buying. He is one of my favorite horror writers, and um, this book is not an exception to that. It is a great book, and that's why I'm recommending it. Um, if you've ta heard me talk a lot of the time, I always recommend the book Hotel. And uh, this is kind of another book that I have by him that I just wanted to recommend because I think this one is one that doesn't get talked about as much. It is about a small town um, kind of dealing with, uh, you know, this monster living within it and just some weird stuff that happens within this small town. I would say, though, if you were to take it at the core, this is definitely kind of a haunted house book because, you know, remove the town remove the house and make it a town and that's what this is all about there's some grotesque imagery in this which i love which is also kind of funny because i'll just kind of show you the first few pages here um it is kind of like a more cartoony style um in the artwork um but yeah this is a great book and uh, it I can't recommend John Lee's as a writer anymore because that dude is so good. I highly recommend checking it out. And if you go to his website too, which maybe I'll have down below, he does have um, a newsletter that he kind of releases some stuff and talks about it. And it's a pretty good newsletter to be a part of. So once again, Mountainhead from IDW. This is going to be for your haunted house um, fans. And it's kind of weird because I would say that I'm more of a slasher fan and I have not really shown off very many slashers and haunted house seems to be the theme in comics that I like the most. And this final book is a book that I've kind of talked about a decent amount on this channel. As you can see, I've even got a little bit of an homage down here of the book and it is going to be Red Room. This is from Ed Pisker. Uh, this is the first volume, which is called The Anti-Social Network. So this for sure is not a book for everyone. This is very mature. I would not recommend this to children or people that are faint of heart um you know i'm kind of going through here you know the art is black and white you know too this is from um and i forgot to mention but this is from fantagraphic comics so just make sure that you know that um they are kind of more art housey of their books but this one is pretty brutal so this is about there is um the red room is essentially a social it's a dark web social network for people that are watching like murder videos loosely i would say if you're a fan of um you know, movies like Saw, Hostel, those type of very brutal, aggressive horror movies, this is the perfect book for that. Uh, it is a little bit different than all of the stuff on here, and it is definitely the one that I would say is the hardest to recommend because it is, you know, a little bit different than all the other ones, but I really enjoyed it, and I think that, you know, it's got some really cool concepts. I know all of the issues are kind of standalone issues. I think the third issue in this one is about um, one of the programmers who kind of made everything encrypted so it's kind of weird right it doesn't just deal with the people doing the acts it deals with the people that help set up the acts so i think this is pretty cool and it's a very different take on some of the horror elements um but yeah, it is pretty gruesome. So it is not for the faint at heart. So once again, this is a new segment. It is called Cole Recommends 5. And in this episode, I recommended it five spooky books. So I would love to hear, are there any spooky horror books that you want to recommend to me? Anything that you think that maybe I haven't read before that is great? Please leave a comment down below. If you are new, again, please consider subscribing. I plan to do some more of these recommends. So if there is a theme that you would like me 
to do or even some type of a topic that you would like me to do on the recommends, let me know down below. I would love to hear that out and be able to get some new things to you that should hopefully um, help cater to what you want to see. And a little bit of house cleaning before I go. Bearded Comic Bro and I are doing 10 spooky cover challenge right now so make sure to check this playlist out and uh join it if you have some spooky comics and you want to join into that we would love to see what you have once again if you're here after the month of october there is no time limit on those um we just you know like to see what people have we'll add you to the playlist we'll check the videos out and let you know what we thought about them but as always thank you for checking out my new segment let me know your thoughts um these were my five recommendations for horror books and as always i've been cole thank you for stopping by and Peace.